Oh, here he goes. Please get a light show. <laughs> oh my god, this has happened again. I mean, we're gonna be hitting big. Pathetic. Pathetic. Get out of here. Is this going to be a cheating bot or is this going to be a nice bot? It's fucking one of those cheating bastard bots, isn't it? There, it's not enough. Thank you. God, my God. The Viper play, just just the random Viper play. Welcome back to another Marvel Snap video. Today I'm going to be talking through a Red Hulk Sandman deck. They say this card, Red Hulk, doesn't have any synergy. That he's a boring card, that he doesn't do much, and his design is bad. But I disagree, I really disagree, and I think he's found a home in the Sandman Hella deck. Why do I think that? Because if you put Sandman down, it really limits your opponent's ability to play out all of their energy. So Red Hulk can get even bigger. And what does Red Hulk like to do? He likes to sit on the field or sit in your hand and make it difficult for your opponents to play. And so what synergizes around him? We've got the Corvus Glaive Hella Odin package. You can ramp up early with Corvus Glaive on turn 3. Turn 4 you hit the Sandman so they're limited for the rest of the game. Turn 5 you Hella, and then you Odin on top of those cards and everything that was in your hand goes to the board. There is no way they can act, they can stop this combo, absolutely no way and it's going to steal you a bunch of cubes. Now if that doesn't go to plan you can wave and then put Red Hulk on the board. Once Red Hulk's on the board it really forces your opponent to either use their resources to kill him off or to try and win the game and use their energy in some other place which might not be possible for them because you can play Doctor Doom on turn 5 and then Odin on turn 6 to really close out that game. Um, this was uh, my first version of this deck. Um, I ended up changing it up uh, as you'll see I've removed Doctor Doom and the Vision. I was sort of playing around, I think Vision is a good card to have in here but I wasn't quite happy with Doctor Doom. Uh, particularly around the Hella and Jubilee interactions it can sort of clutter your board space a little bit too much. Um, Anam Zola was sort of a bit of a fringe pick here as well. Um, he works well with Red Hulk, but not really so much of the rest. So I, I would change these cards if you're thinking about it. The Vision, Anam Zola, and Doctor Doom could be all changed. Maybe if you want to go a bit more greedier, you can drop the Psylocke and Jubilee. Although I did find both of them to be very good cards and needed in this deck. So moving on, we're going to be showing the second version of the game, uh, of this deck, which I've got the majority of the highlights for. And this time we've got Gamora and Ronan in, dropping in for Vision and Doctor Doom, like I've said, said before. Uh, this synergizes better with Arnim Zola, uh, I felt. Uh, the Ronan really capitalizes with Sandman, of course, because then they can't get rid of their hand. And Gamora can be really good for picking up priority into the final turn, so if you Waved on three, turn four you play Red Hulk, and in turn five you sniped where they're going. You've got priority going into that final turn, meaning you can drop your Arnhem Zola knowing that it's not going to be shang chi It's really, really good play. So that's it guys, I really hope that you like watching this video. Um, if you do, please like and subscribe, it encourages me to make more, and see you in the next one. Thank you. Oh, it's the Baron Zemo deck, here we go. They love to play their Baron Zemo early though. Is this going to be a good Baron Zemo player or a bad Baron Zemo player? Yep, definitely Baron Zemo. Okay. Strap in guys. This is this is how we're going to do it. Oh, here he goes. Please get a light try. <laughs> oh my god, this has happened again. Oh, we hit Hella, but we don't care. Oh, that's beautiful. That was fucking gorgeous. <laughs> I hope you like that, buddy. Oh, he's playing the Patriot version. Oh, he's gonna slam down the Mockingbird, isn't he? So you're gonna put the Mockingbird down now. Oh, the double one of Zola is uh, freaky. But maybe we save that for the last turn, just for some chaos. 
trunk. Yeah. Okay, buddy. Oh, that's he's a very sad player, isn't he? Oh, I mean, I'm just gonna put items out of mid just for the shits and giggles. Oh, <laughs> what what went wrong? What just happened? Come on, buddy, don't don't cry, please. Ah, oh, did you, did your Baron Zemo pull in one of the bad guys and not one of the goodies? Oh. Did you pull this deck from a popular streamer or YouTuber who said it was going to be really good? And it's not a good deck at all. Oh, God damn it. You, you just hate when that happens, don't you? But I think, honestly, you, you'd you prefer to go Glaive, then Wave, then Electro. Definitely when you got a hand, which doesn't have Hella in. Uh, we're going to go for Stark Tower just to get the, hopefully get the buff. I don't think he's got a deck that's got enough power to beat us, to be honest, so we're just gonna... I think we Sandman... Hmm, no, we need to win mid. Do need to win mid. Yeah, okay. Yeah, that's not gonna be enough, boy. Um, then we Hella, then we Odin. Yeah, it's easy. Should win this. Come on, Dan. What are you gonna do, huh? Please go right, go right. No, didn't. And Jessica Jones is definitely not enough. Oh, and of course the Red Hulk as well. Lovely stuff. And this is the combo. Yeah, you ain't winning. No way in how you're winning. Does what? <laughs> oh god, this guy has got nothing. This guy is snapping on turn world like a madman. What is it? No, oh, he's got the Nebula. Uh, we've got Psylocke into Jubilee. Yeah, why not? Well, I could have played something like that, I don't know why not. Well, I'm really not sure if I'm doing this right. Oh no, because it activates fast. Nice. Yeah, nice. I can't believe how fucking lucky you guys were with you Julia. Like, we're going to do this, and then I think we can Hulk and Arnhem, maybe? I don't know. We should have enough to win. Oh, both the win conditions go down the drain. We could play Ronan, but I think I want him to disguise and not know that I've got Hella. Oh, this is even better. Now, obviously, we just Hella. This guy's got no chance. Oh, shit in hell. Yeah, what are you gonna do, buddy? You can't win all three of these lanes. Yeah, get out of here. Oh yeah, look at that. You mad. 